Hi guys, welcome to Stunner Share. <clears throat> so today in this video, what we are going to see, we are going to see the Nifty analysis using CPR strategy as well as some price action alerts, whatever has come today. So to be very honest, I'm very, very, very happy today. Uh, got some beautiful profits also. Got some decent, uh, uh, what, what to say, decent uh, analysis predictions also. Everything has worked pretty well. So for today, what has actually happened is like Nifty has uh, overlapped the CPR, uh, some sort of an outside value CPR, and uh, it did it, it. It slightly looks like a, a moderately bullish also. And what has actually happened is like just check the previous video of Nifty analysis what I've shared yesterday. So I would have clearly told that Nifty can take support at weekly pivot. That is what I have told you guys. Clear. Yeah? And what has happened today, just check it out. Nifty has clearly taken supported weekly pivot. And after that, it has engulfed the CPR. So what happens next? Nifty was consolidating for more time. And we are not sure of whether Nifty is going to return back to weekly pivot or we are not sure of whether it is going to blast upside. So that is when I started pouring out my analysis to all the uh, sites wherever as possible. And that is, this is the... Twitter page which I am using to post some alerts also. Just check the, my Twitter Twitter page so that you will guys will not will be able to understand. So initially I was a bit weak in Nifty. Initially I was a bit weak in Nifty. That means initially I was expecting some sort of bearishness to occur. Clear. So why did I expect some bearishness to occur? I will just show you guys in this video. So I'm just shifting it to one hour time frame and then moving it to line chart. If you guys see over here, so this looks like a head and shoulders pattern. Clear? This looks like a head and shoulders pattern. So what I was expecting is like Nifty might break. But what did I clearly told here is, for now, Nifty is looking weak. Let's see whether today's low is getting broken for further fall. Stay tuned. This was the update for Nifty uh, on one hour time. Clear. So I was expecting this range to break. Then what did I do? I just deleted the pattern and then went to 15 minutes time frame to check what is actually happening over there. And in 15 minutes time frame also, there is one other head and shoulders. Clear? So what did I mention over here is like in 15 minutes also HN, head and shoulders is formed but looks like head and shoulders is faked by up move. That means head and shoulders pattern is not going to continue. Still nifty below this zone 9000 to 8980 zone is weak. So what is 9000 to 8980 zone? So let me go to the zone chart. So if you guys see over here this is the zone I was telling you guys. So if suppose Nifty is not going to take a support, if suppose Nifty is going to break, then below this zone, we can see some bearishness to occur. So this is what my initial analysis for the day, which has happened for today, which is around some 10, 30, 11 o'clock. Like then after that, what I just witnessed is like Nifty started engulfing the CPR. So if you guys see over here, Nifty has engulfed the CPR properly and a clear breakout above high has also happened. So what's next? So we need to find out what is going to be the next thing to happen. So what I just noticed is like, I noticed Nifty is forming a bullish flag and pull pattern. So I updated in my Twitter handle also stating like, if you guys see over here, even that breakout also did not happen before the breakout itself. I just completed the post. If Nifty is giving breakout, then possible levels shared are possible levels are shared. So if suppose Nifty is giving a breakout, it can go to this point. This point is nearly 9,200. Looks like bullish flag pattern. Please do your own analysis. Also note it is yet to give breakout. I can be wrong anytime trade carefully. So how did I tell you guys that this target is possible? 
I have clearly mentioned that this target of 9200 is possible. How did I say this? So let me close it. So I have already shared you guys about how to do it. So I will repeat it again. From the, I'm going to measure the pole's length from here to here. So this is the pole's length. Okay. Now I'm going to keep this from the time it gave up, it gave up breakout. So from the time it gave the breakout, see exactly 9,200. This was my expected target for today. And that is what I have told over here. And if you guys see targets are done and dusted. So it has reached my target perfectly. Now the question will be what's next? Clear? So what's next is like next is nothing but the next resistance. So if so the candles has broken R1, the candles has broken previous day uh, higher, previous week high, and next is nothing but R2 to happen. So R2 also met. So what I could see over here is nothing but monthly pivot. This so let me have the uh, indicator label so you guys will be able to see. So monthly pivot was there and that was the time I told some of my friends that Nifty is going to take rest. Because as I said to you guys, even some days before, when even yesterday also, even whenever, some, whenever Nifty is coming around or whenever the price is coming around uh, weekly pivot or monthly pivot, there can be some sort of consolidation or support taking over there and at that time, you can expect some option sellers to get some benefits and also the price may take support or may reject also it can happen it is based on that so to me nifty has closed above monthly pivot but still tomorrow's opening print will decide what is going to happen so now let's move on to the nifty tomorrow what is going to happen what is going to be the tomorrow's tomorrow's pivot point so that will give some clarity so tomorrow's pivot points are over here which is unusually very very wide so I'm expecting a proper decay to happen. So let's see how Nifty is going to perform tomorrow. So far now, based on price action, based on the analysis I have shared in my Twitter handle, I have just explained all those things over here. Now let's come to Nifty analysis using CPR. So the candles open exactly at CPR. So there are two possibilities to happen. One possibility is moving towards S1 and the other possibility is moving towards R1. So what today has happened is like Nifty though formed a bearish setup at the initial point, it took support at weekly pivot. And that gives the support therein where the Nifty started its uptrend move and then it properly got hit at R2. So once after breaking R2 and previous day high, it has high possibility to go towards R2 and that is what has happened today. So there can be one doubt who has moved Nifty. So I was checking the Reliance chart also. Reliance chart gave a double bottom. Let me show you here. So Reliance chart, this is the chart. And if you guys see over here, it gave a double bottom. I thought of updating this also, but then I stick to my Nifty analysis itself. It gave a double bottom, 14242, nearly 12 points double bottom was there. And it blasted like anything. So this was the Nifty analysis and uh, as well as the Nifty analysis, sorry, the Nifty analysis using CPS strategy, price action and pattern. Do let me know in case of any queries. If you feel the content is good, kindly give a like. If you have any queries, kindly let me know in the comment section or mail me. And keep sharing, keep liking, keep subscribing and keep commenting. Stay tuned for more videos.